Hello students, uh, in this video I will explain you issue of material concept uh, base talk method I will discuss here one problem we will solve already I made videos uh, based on FIFO and LIFO as well as simple and weighted average method the link of those videos I will share in I button as well as in the description box do watch those videos for better understanding sake so we'll take up in this uh, video only base talk method one problem so here we will understand what is base talk method base talk method is similar to the same concept that is FIFO and LIFO only but what we will do here we will maintain some minimum level of inventory in the form of base talk which can be used whenever there is an acute need wherever there is a uh, emergency requirement for that sake we will keep that material and we call it as a base talk in the sense we don't utilize uh, material from that unless and until there is a acute or emergency requirement right so that is the concept called as base talk method so we will see one question uh, then we can easily understand right so in this question you are required to prepare a stores led ledger under FIFO and LIFO method so by keeping 200 units as base talk right so we have given purchase of material 500 tons, 2 per ton and uh, then purchase another 300 tons, then issue 600, then purchase 400, issue 300, then purchase 500 and finally we have issued 200 units, right. So we will see how to solve this problem. So we will prepare stores ledger, base stock method under FIFO method, right. Base stock is done under FIFO and LIFO methods. So this is the answer I kept here. The same format that is date, received, issued and balance. On 1st Jan, we have received, in the sense we have purchased 500 units at 2 per uh, unit. Then total would be 1000 rupees. Then we will keep in the balance. See, in the balance column, first we have written 200 units, 2 per unit, 400 as base stock. In the sense, whatever units we have purchased 500 that is split into two categories one we kept it as a base stock 200 and balance of 300 we kept as a uh, other stock which will be ready to ready to be issued to the production department that is that is 300 units at the rate of 2 per unit 600 clear again on 10th we have purchased three more 100 units at the rate of 2.1 that will be 630 rupees total cost of purchase then balance will be remain the presentation set uh, after purchasing is again 200 units 2 per unit 400 this is our base stock then 300 2 per unit 600 then 300 uh, latest purchase 2.1 630 so this is the presentation again on 15th uh, Jan 300 units we are issuing right so 600 units we are issuing so when we are following FIFO method so we are not touching the base stock see here base stock will not be touched will not be used instead the material which is available for issue is 300 units at 2 per unit 300 units at 2.1 per unit that material we have issued right then leftover material is only base stock that is 200 2 per unit and 400 that is base stock clearly we have written in remarks base stock when you come to the uh, next date that is 20th Jan, 400 units again we have purchased at 2.2 that is 880 rupees. Then again we have shown the presentation 200 to 2, 2 rupees at the rate of 2 rupees 400 that we base stock we kept it as usual and 400 that is latest purchase 2.2 880 we have kept. Again we are issuing 300 units. Out of the 400 units which is available for issue of material excluding base stock I am talking about so 300, 2.2, 660 we are issuing. Balances again presentation 200, 2, 2 rupees, 400 is the base stock we will show. Besides, out of 400, leftover 100 will be shown as a balance of stock that is 100, 2.2, 220 rupees. Clear? On the 27th Jan, we are again purchasing 500 units, right? So what is the rate? 2.1 it is. So that is 1050 amount. Then balance is again presentation, base stock 200, 2, 2 rupees per unit, 400, 100, 2.2, 220, then 500, the latest purchase, 2.1, 2 
that is 1050 again on 31st march uh, 31st jan sorry we are issuing 200 units 100 units out of 2.2 category 2.2 uh at the rate of 2.2 material that is 220 rupees and left over 100 we are issuing out of the second category that is out of 500 right so 100 2.1 210 so what is the balance again we write base stock we are left with 200 to at the rate of 2 rupees per unit 400 and 400 at the rate of 2.1 right that is 4 sorry 840 rupees like this we will present this is the data presentation under base stock method right so we will every time we will keep certain material as a base stock as per the instruction given in the question so total quantity left over is 600 units including base stock the value is 1240 rupees so closing stock is 600 units valued at 1240 rupees so this is a simple way of doing base stock method clear i hope i made you understand uh if you have any doubt do put me uh, do ask me in the comment box will be glad to reply your comment right so i wish you all the best thanks for watching the video do subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative and informative videos thank you very much